means for the BBC at least, that's it for the Great British Bake Off. Mmm, delicious. Oh, Tim, can you please stop making me eat cake? Jesus. Seriously, I don't mind doing the story, I just don't know why I have to eat a thousand calories. If I eat any more, I'm going to puke fucking everywhere. Of course I don't mind doing the story. Of course it's newsworthy. Did you, did you make me do this because you thought I'd get the shits because I don't think this is a news story? This, Tim, is proper fucking journalism. This is a perfect story because if you want to look at the bigger picture, you tell the small story. So if you want to discuss the future of the BBC, let's take a, let's take a look at Bake Off. Let's chat about the Bake Off, yeah? And let's, let's be honest, what the fuck else has happened this week? Yeah, David Cameron fucked off again. Grammar schools are back. What a fucking shock that is. They accidentally leaked that weeks ago. Clinton uh, became ill and lied about it and then fainted. A Clinton lying? It does no one remember. I did not jizz on that woman's dress. Yeah, but the Bake Off now, this is a fucking story. Yeah, this is, this is, right, it's, it's a crappy little programme about making Battenberg cake. And this is weird, but I fucking love it. I love it. It's, it's, a, it's a mystery uh, to which the world has never seen before. I love the British Bake Off. It is this small, crappy little BBC Two programme. Started out, li tiny little thing. You, there's, there's normally a vicar on it, a fat librarian, a gay, a biker, a hot Muslim mum in a hijab, all trying to make shoe buns. And it's presented by those, those people that used to do lunchtime TV when you were a student. And it's judged by Mary Berry, who's delightful until you get your pastry wrong, then she'll fucking snap your neck off. Who the fuck is going to watch that? There is no way that should have become as popular as it did, and that's the beauty of it. It, it. It's its popularity is down to the fact that someone bothered to take the risk to make it. Do you know what I mean? And and it, that can only happen without commercial interest. You know that successive governments have in, encouraged the BBC, however, to use independent production companies to make their programmes, right? Because that makes the BBC more competitive. But an independent production company, a, a, a programme becomes commercially viable, i.e. popular, then the independent production company is then going to sell it to a commercial station because they can make more money. The government want the BBC to become more commercially viable, but in the same breath they want them to, to publish their presenters' wages, OK? That's fine, but if you do that, if you force them to do it, you have at least got to concede that that means the BBC is no longer commercially viable. Fiona Bruce, right, she was on the front page of the Times this week because she earns 150 grand a year, OK? Now, if she earns 150 grand a year, that is her market price, right? And if we know that's what she earns, then ITV can come along and offer £160,000. It means the BBC is no longer commercially viable. £150,000 a fucking year. I have never seen that stingy bitch buy a round. Please don't tell her I said that. So, I mean, the BBC have a real problem. Uh, the, sorry, the government have, have a real problem with the BBC because, because the government fucking hate the BBC because it is um, essentially an, a socialist idea. But it is also a British institution. And the Tories fucking love them, or at least have to pretend to love them. So you can't just sell the BBC off like you can, like oh, millions of acres of, of public forest and public land. You know, no one's going to miss that. So you have to sell it off by stealth. You know, you have to accuse it of being elitist and too popular in the same breath. You have to force it to compete with commercial stations and then force it to reschedule its most popular programmes so that it doesn't clash with ITV. You have to run it into the ground to the point where the BBC is no longer uh, a, a, a viable option. And then you can sell it off. It's exactly what they're doing with the NHS. Yeah, Run it into the ground. Make it so that it, it is unusable by consumers and then you've got to sell it off because it doesn't work anymore. It's a fucking disgrace. And there you go, Tim, from Bake Off to the wholesale destruction of the NHS in three easy steps. Now that is fucking good journalism. Fuck off, these are props. Please don't make me eat any more, Tim.